Bundy's Garage. Hey, today we're working on an idle air control valve on a J-Series engine. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I had to end up taking the throttle body off the engine, which I didn't want to do. Um, I was trying to do it on, um, not on the car. I had it disconnected from the manifold, but I didn't want to disconnect the throttle cables, but I ended up having to anyways. And the reason being is, <clears throat> excuse me, right here is the idle air control valve. IA idle air control valve IACV <laughs> yeah, I can spell anyways it has two screws here and these screws were on there so tight I uh, tried liquid wrench penetrating oil and I put that on there for 45 minutes but it didn't did not do a thing and um, <clears throat> I started trying to you know really crank on these and I don't know if you guys can see that but I started actually stripping that screw out so right here's the throttle Auto position sensor, and then right up here is the, uh, I believe it's the map, math, mass airflow sensor, right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, so what I had to do is I let the penetrating oil soak there for 45 minutes, and then tried using the screwdriver, but that didn't do anything. So uh, what I ended up having to do is get these vice grips right here, and uh, just clamping it on. These are actually already loose because I've already done it, but I actually just clamped it on here. As tight as it would go, and just move it a little bit, and you can actually hear it when it crit, when it breaks, when it breaks loose. Um, and then once I did that, I was able to uh, go ahead and unscrew these two screws to get the um, idle air control valve out. So <clears throat> that's what you guys are going to need to do. I've read stuff online where people uh, clean these things out, and you can definitely do that. But I actually uh, just went ahead and bought a new one off of rockauto.com. It was like 66 bucks with shipping. So, And the reason I didn't want to do this on the car is actually because I didn't have enough room to get the vice grips on there. But also I didn't want to damage any of the other sensors. Especially the, the throttle position sensor. It is, you can change it even though there are break off bolts on it. It's kind of a hassle but you can do it. So those two are out. And uh, there you go. There it is. There's actually coolant that runs through here. This passage right here I believe is the inlet for the coolant. And then this one right here is the, the outlet for the coolant. When I put this back on, I'm, when I put this back on I'm actually going to bypass this coolant system. But yeah, coolant runs through there. You can see it gets gummed up, messed up. There's a little actuator motor in here as well. Then there was a pintle inside here. I know you guys probably can't see that, but I'm going to just go ahead and replace it. You can try cleaning it and see if that helps you. But um, I'm just going to replace it. So there you have it. <clears throat> These bolts are stuck. Go ahead and put some penetrating oil on there. If that doesn't help with a screwdriver, go ahead and take some vice grips. Get on there and just crack it loose. Also, on a side note, here's the throttle posi position sensor. As you can see, there are no screws or head to actually remove these. I haven't done one yet, and if I ever do one, I'll definitely record it. But I heard you can actually take a Dremel, cut slots in here for a standard screwdriver, and then break these loose. So, it's one thing to keep in mind. Because Honda does not sell these separate. They want you to purchase the whole throttle body, which is a waste of money in my opinion. But they are out there. Just do a Google search for them. I've seen them from anywhere from, I think, like 30 bucks to, to 60 So uh, it is possible to replace just the throttle position sensor. So there you go. Hope this has helped you guys out. If you like my videos, please subscribe. And I'll uh, keep them rolling for you.